What about licensing of GSAP and green stocks? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it has license. Uh, uh, you have to uh, consider it if you are able to use it. Uh, but it has a bunch of applications that you are able to use it without any problems or, or uh, stuff like that. But yeah, it is, it is li licensable stuff. All the others was open source. How can you debug React Native How hard is debugging? React Native is quite quite easy. Uh, it's, it has a, the, the same uh, it, it has the same uh, tool set as React on the web. Are you familiar with React on the web? Yes. Yeah. So you have. Uh, yeah, you have. Uh, not Chrome Inspector, but uh, Chrome uh, debugging tools. So you can have a... Okay, there is a tool, the best tool, React Native Debugger. Surprise! What name? Uh, what name? Okay. And then it, has a, it has the same... Uh, it has the same um, inspector that is not shown, shown but it's here. Would be here, and uh, it is the same inspector as uh, for the web, but it shows um, native components and React native components, and and here you you will see the source code that you can have breakpoints and you can just uh, as you inspect your code and, and do the same as on the web. Do you have a library it, or do uh, you need to review the code? You have you have the live reload, hot uh, reloading. Actually, that is a, a, a better tool. Uh, and I can show you that uh, again. Tap to play. It does the same. So it does the same as a real device. Okay, so. So it says hello from Bana Studio, and I can just erase that, and it is erased. So <laughs> wow! <laughs> but <laughs> more interesting, more interesting example would be to change its color. I don't know how much, how many. Is it? Okay, so, so it's is it red? It's, it's red. Okay. So it has alt reloading. Yeah. Um, how do you debug animations? I mean, <laughs> do you have some specific tooling that you can recommend to play with the timelines or how to pose it? Um, if you have uh, other uh, tools that you are implementing the animations in, you are probably better with that. Uh -huh. uh, debugging from uh, from uh, JavaScript or from from uh, the React pr perspective, it's just debugging as as uh, long sequenced I don't know uh, process. It's it's basically the same. So you are trying to debug a process that is happening in between st changing states or something like that. So basically, you can do a, with the, with the JavaScript libraries. You can debug everything like the re React components. Uh, I meant uh, the Chrome DevTools, as I remember, uh, gives some support uh, for the CSS animations, so you can uh, replay them somehow, or uh, have this kind of progress bar or spinner, uh, where you can put the states and maybe with the GSL is giving some support, or I don't know. Um, the GSL is JavaScript, so it's basically you debug it like JavaScript. Uh, I. For for the CSS part, yeah, you can have uh, different tools which are which are able to differentiate uh, the CSS uh, keyframes or animation steps. But um, for the JavaScript part, you have a bunch of tools that you can debug JavaScript with. So. Yeah. Uh, 
So you don't have to have specific animation, specific debugging stuff because it's just uh, another, another library written in JavaScript. Okay. How populated is the knowledge base for React? So if you want to find snippets and examples uh, while you're learning it, how easy is to how how much resources uh, one have to to kind of get a grasp of it? Um, for uh, if you're starting React, um, you have the Create React App, which is a boilerplate generator mm -hmm. uh, for React. Um, and other than that, every library that I showed had uh, working examples that you can you can uh, clone to your machine and, and run it, and you can learn from them. And uh, there are there are a bunch of tutorials that you can follow, even with animations or or without animations. Uh, if, if I'm uh, mentioning the uh, Redux, for example, that has a very big and long tutorial how to uh, create re re React and Redux together, so that's also so. Thank you. Uh, I have a question about React Native uh, and the Socket IO. Uh, okay. I uh, tried to use Socket IO client on React Native and I see uh, it, it has a warning about timeouts. Uh, uh, the timeout is, is too long and it, uh, it has a, a nice warning message and I searched on Git, uh, GitHub and they don't really care about this warning with the socket eye. So, uh, uh, have you any experience with uh, so can I have a firebase client on React Native? Is it long poming or is it a, is it, is it a long lived uh, HTTP request? Or is, <coughs> is, it, is it a web socket That's connection? Yes. connection? So I, uh, I thought it, okay, um, it's a specific, it's a specific issue I think, so, so I, I have no experience with socket IO with, uh, in React Native, but the first thought was uh, whether it is a long-lived HTTP uh, over the, the XHR uh, implementation, and that can be a problem related to React Native, but it, it is a web socket. Mm -hmm. I have no other uh, thoughts. When, when not to use the acne? That's just... <laughs> okay, uh, use, use React Native for everything. <laughs> no, why not? Okay, I, I understand your question. Um, um, I, I, I'm trying to imagine a situation where I would not recommend using React Native. Uh, for example, if you only want to support uh, one uh, platform, that is the case when you don't really have to rely on uh, such a fragile uh, ecosystem, I think. Or, or if you, oh, and or if your company is really, really big and really, really strong and has a lot of money, and, <laughs> and you can support support all the all the uh, platforms like uh, Facebook or, or the other ones. But, yeah, that's it. What are the benefits of React Native? Where is this You can build it um, in JavaScript, mostly. So you can have JavaScript developers who craft the app. <coughs> Yeah, you will have native development experience as well. So, uh, so what is for? Could you repeat your question, please? Uh, why why you should uh, choose React uh, Native? Why I should use only? 
Okay, uh, the, the most important thing I think that you can build all of your views and all of your uh, uh, workflows and user experiences in JavaScript. <coughs> that, is, that is the point of the technology, I think. <coughs> so you don't have to have separate uh, knowledge of how to build uh, a good looking and good uh, working uh, iOS and Android apps. And you, have, you don't have to uh, have much experience with SDKs. And <coughs> So, uh, Sir, did I understand correctly that you use uh, native features like camera or push notifications? Uh, I have to write native code. There is no way to write it uh, in just JavaScript. I mean, it seems like it would be just an API call which can be done from JavaScript, but, but I have to write native code. No, you don't have to write it because you can find it on GitHub. Okay. Other, other guys <laughs> <laughs> just wrote it. Just wrote it for you for free. So oh, okay, very cool. <laughs> Need one. So it's good. But but if you have uh, some issues, then you have to dig inside the the, the the native code. So it's open source. Yeah. yeah. One last question. Okay. Yeah, you are the only one. Okay. So what are the benefits of having native over Apache code one, for example? Okay. Uh, I think. For Could you repeat the question? I didn't hear. So what are the benefits of React Native over uh, Apache Cordova or such? Okay, uh, Cordova basically wraps your application into a web view. So you will have a uh, browser implementation in your app. And if you don't want to have one in your app, then you can stick to React Native and you will have just uh, the uh, right uh, native uh, components that you want. So if you have a long, really long uh, <coughs> scrolling view, then you can have, uh, uh, then you will probably